Are you trucking too? Race fans, you are tuned in to Gravity Throttle Racing, and this is Air Intake. We are excited, and we're going to share with you more. Richard. Hello, race fans. Yeah, this is Richard Gear, and today is Group 5. It's going to showcase two drivers from the underside of the world. That's right, New Zealand and Australia, and then two that are a little bit closer to home. Are we going to see a repeat like we did with Marco? Polo. I'm not sure, Richard. Well, I, I am not sure either, Aaron. But I will tell you one thing. These drivers are excited. They've got some great vehicles, some great trucks. Go ahead, Aaron. Race fans all the way from Australia. The Aussie Diecast Racing League is the number eight seat. That's Macy driving the number two. 1983 Chevy Silverado. Now in lane two is the number 21 seat. Check it out. From New Zealand, NZ Racing is Big Mike driving the 067, 1967 Mini Ute. The number 22 seed from Ruckus Racing is Johnny Smack, driving a 1935 Ford pickup. He's the number six. And finally, the number seven seed from Cloaked After Dark is Angela S. And she drives a Mazda Repu, number 44. Race fans, give it up for these four very excited drivers as they are gearing up for the first race. And race fans, on the inside here, closest to us is Macy. Then we've got Big Mike. Angela's on the outside. And Johnny Smack has the lead over the creek. Angela's holding tight, but she gets a little loose up top, and now Johnny Smack has the lead onto the drift. Mesa drift, but he spins around. Big Mike is crashed in the background. Boy, I hope he's okay. And here we've got Macy coming up, but Johnny Smack has the lead down the runway, and in third place is Angela. Onto the scrambler they go. Johnny's looking really smooth and coming through for first. Macy in second, and Angela's in third. Henry's fans. As the crew checks over to see, make sure that Big Mike is okay in that little bitty mini ute. Look at that spectacular crash as he is flipped upside down. Angela manages to hold her own, but look at the speed of Johnny Smack. And Angela just simply wants to leapfrog over Macy to take second place. But Macy has a smooth ride down the scrambler and is able to keep second place. In first place after the first round of racing is Johnny Smack. Here we go with race number two, race fans. Angela's on the inside, Macy next to her. Big Mike in lane three, and Johnny Smack on the outside. Johnny has a spectacular accident. Big Mike is being passed by Angela. Angela's got a great line down the Joker lane. There goes Big Mike, he spins that mini ute around, but he manages to do well over. He's uting along, if we're gonna call that a word, and Angela takes the lead down the runway. Here she goes, around the big U. She's looking very smooth. Big Mike is pulling in nicely. Here he comes, but Angela's got the win. Big Mike straight line down, second place, and Macy in third. Hey Richard, can I do that helium voice? Oh, no, 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 no. You mean you don't like He-Man? Oh, I like He-Man, but nothing to do with helium, Aaron. How about nitrogen? You're not a plant, you only get oxygen. Go, commentate. Yeah, but I thought my voice was pretty cool. And you're the only one that thought that, Aaron. Okay. Well, this race was pretty straightforward as down the runway they went single file and down the scrambler they went single file. After two rounds of racing, Angela has the lead here with six, and it is Macy right behind with five. It's pretty closely packed. We've got a lot of racing left. Race three now, ladies and gentlemen. Here we've got Johnny Smack on the inside along with Angela. On the outside is Macy and Big Mike, and here they go. Johnny Smack is sliding on his side. He is out already, and Angela seems to have the lead. No, she is crashed out. And it is Macy spun out, and now Big Mike, the only one left, makes his way over the bridge. A little trouble there. He spun around, and now he is a quadruple DNF. He is out. And race fans were being told that all the drivers are fine, and their trucks are checking out well, too, as they are getting prepared back at the top of the mountain. Here we are watching one more time. Big Mike just couldn't take advantage of it. Okay, and the trucks are now organized back at the top. And there they go, race fans, this is the restart of race three. A little bit of a nosedive by Big Mike, as it is Angela with the lead down the Joker lane, and here comes, oh my goodness, Macy has overdrifted once again, and it is Johnny Smack with a clear lead. Nobody else around him, boy, he's got a lot of speed through the Joker lane. Now down the runway and around the big U, he's been looking very smooth today. The restart of race three will result in Johnny Smack taking first place. Here comes Angela sliding in second, and. No way! Big Mike has gotten himself stuck on the scrambler. No doubt Big Mike is kicking himself for that one. Four points that he could have taken advantage of, and now instead, he is unable to finish. Here you see him getting a little bit spooked by Macy, being stranded up there at Mesa Butte, 
and he hits the wall hard. And here the drivers come around. Big Mike is trying to keep chase, but as we just got through explaining, Big Mike was unable to finish, and instead, Angela, with a second place finish, keeps her lead with nine, and it's Johnny Smack right behind with eight. Race fans, this is always the exciting race, the race before halftime. The cars have been rotating, and now on the inside lane, here's Big Mike. On the outside is Macy. Here we go, Johnny Smack has a great start, and Angela pulls out in the lead. Now Johnny Smack is in the lead. Down the joker lane he goes. Angela forgets to drift. And there's some trouble up there on Mesa Butte as Johnny Smack has a very, very sizable lead coming around and onto the runway. Tell you what, this is the Johnny Smack show this first four races. He's had one accident, but is easily going to pick up and spinning around first place for Johnny Smack. Macy comes in second. Angela's in third. Where's Big Mike? Back here on Mesa Butte, Angela launches herself onto the Mesa Butte drift, but is unable to make any sort of drift at all. Now she's in chase after Macy. Here comes Johnny Smack in first place around the Big U, and Angela and, and Macy are really battling out for second and third. We know that Macy took second. There's the problem, as Big Mike, watch him come into the picture here. He's having trouble down the runway, and he just runs out of gas. After four rounds of racing, as we gear up for halftime, Johnny Smack with three first place finishes has the lead and Angela's right behind with 11. All right, let's sit back and relax. Race fans for the halftime show, this will be the final chapter of our Clone War. Introducing the Crazy Canuck against the Crazy Canuck. Aaron, there can be only one. Oh, okay. How about Canuck 1 versus Canuck 2? That sounds like Dr. Seuss. Canuck Sr. versus Canuck Jr. No, 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 don't go there. I can't help you now, Richard. Okay, you can get rid of the uh, reverb voice. How about helium? No helium. And with that finish, the cars are dominating the trucks in our Clone War competition at halftime, four to one. Now, race fans, we appreciate you taking the time to watch that. Clone Wars, that is keywords for next season as we will reveal more details later. This is round five of the races. The train is up and running. Johnny Smack, as we see him through the picture here, and Angela have the chance for extra points, but Angela is stranded. Johnny Smack gets two points for crossing ahead of the white box car, and he is well ahead. Look how far ahead he is. And here's a view from the train. Oh my goodness, as Macy is spun out and it looks like Johnny Smack is having some trouble. Where is Big Mike? And there's Big Mike back in the picture. What in the world are we watching here? It looks like a Sunday drive. I feel like I'm watching a roundabout in downtown Paris. Exactly, a roundabout and rush hour traffic for that matter. Are they gonna finish? It's really difficult to say as Johnny Smack has first and we know that Macy took second and <laughs> and Big Mike, ladies and gentlemen, is going to claim the slowest time on the track. Congratulations. You know, to me, Richard, our drivers look like they're under the influence of some pretty heavy, heavy fuel. We don't serve alcohol or moonshine or anything. <laughs> uh. Hey, did you hear that, Aaron? That is Cousin Ricky from Funkhauser Diecast Racing League, Aaron. Race fans, be sure to check out the Funkhauser Diecast Racing League bootlegger run going on right now. After all that questionable driving, three of the four drivers did finish and Johnny got two extra points. He's now leading with 18, and this is race number six. Just about ready to gear up, here we go. Ooh, a slow start. Angela and is on the inside lane along with Macy. On the outside in the lead is Johnny Smack. Pretty good drifting. Here comes a wonderful patented spin by Big Mike. Both of them will collect one point for crossing the train. They did not go ahead of the white box car. There's a battle for third, second, and fourth, but Johnny Smack has the lead. Here we come around, and it looks like Angela has tailed off a little bit. Oh, ah, sliding on his side is is Macy. There's Angela spinning like a top. It looks like it looks like Big Mike had third place. He's clearly going to get it now. There was a lot of action in that race, Sir Richard. As we go back in instant replay, check out the third and fourth place as Angela just smacks into the back end of Big Mike, and she takes the brunt of it. Macy is sliding down, skateboarding on his side. He does manage to come in second. That is a third place finish for Big Mike, but Angela's gonna make sure she gets fourth. 
even at the expense of putting a nice door ding in the side of Big Mike's mini ute. Six rounds of racing and Johnny Smack clearly has the lead with Macy in second place and Big Mike is creeping up there. In these last two races, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be critical for Macy and for Angela to get some points. They're really battling for second place. And oh my goodness, already we see Johnny Smack out of it. Macy is over drifting once again. Oh, what a gorgeous drift by Big Mike. Much better than the first time around when Macy overdrifted. I think he collected only one point on the train and Angela has the lead down the runway. There she goes. This is gonna be key for Angela to establish second place as she's spinning through. She'll come in and Big Mike looks wonderful, making his way down for a second place finish. Race fans, Johnny Smack from Ruckus Racing has been demonstrating a ton of speed, but he has had some problems with the creek jump as it gets him there. Now, Macy has also had trouble on Mesa Butte. This time, Big Mike gets a flame, the only flame we've seen today with our best performing drift, and the winner is Angela. After seven rounds of racing, Big Mike is creeping up there and has a chance. It looks like Johnny Smack with Ruckus Racing has established first place. The question is who will take second? Race fans on the inside lane is Big Mike, but the two on the outside, Angela and Macy, they're the ones that have a chance for extra points. Here we go, Angela's got a great start. She's got the lead and she is looking good so far. Here comes Johnny Smack. Angela's taking the drift pretty well. She does get turned around. And, and now she is stuck, and Johnny Smack is just pouring on the speed. Now behind him, yep, there is Big Mike, but Johnny Smack is taking a clear lead around. The crowd is already cheering as he makes his way onto Mesa Butte, or excuse me, onto the Scrambler and through. He has been so clean down the Scrambler, and guess who takes second? It is Big Mike. Nobody else is showing up, no one else. Let's go back and study this race on Instant Replay. We know that it was Angela with a rough drift, and Macy gets turned around. He sacrifices himself. Angela doesn't quite clear the train, but gets one extra point so far. There goes Johnny Smack, and it is Big Mike in second, but watch, keep your eyes on Angela as she stalls out on the runway. Once again, we see her backwards having some problems, and she just basically stalls out, unable to finish. That's gonna cost her. The preliminary scores after eight rounds of racing, Johnny Smack is our winner, but we still have the best performing drift, and we all know who it is, Big Mike. In race number seven, had a gorgeous drift, avoiding, avoiding Macy. Now, he will collect one extra point. What that means is he cannot win. He can only force a sudden death race off. And race fans, we're gonna go straight to it here. As the lights are yellow, the first to collect two wins is moving on. Angela's got a great start. She's ahead of Big Mike. Big Mike is holding his own, but Angela's looking good. Now, Angela had trouble on the drift before. She hits it a little hard. She is backwards, but has a has a lead, a lead over Big Mike. We don't see Big Mike in the picture as she makes her way onto the runway. Now, she had problems going backwards. She needs to get turned around. She's having problems. Where's Big Mike? He's having problems. I think Cousin Ricky got involved again. <laughs> I knew it. And here comes Angela, down the scrambler in reverse, but she's gonna take the first win. I guess we can't blame Cousin Ricky because they did both finish. Sudden death, race off number two. And now Angela's on the inside lane with Big Mike on the outside. There they go, an even start and Big Mike has a slight lead over the creek jump. Angela's pulling ahead now, she's nosing ahead. Down the joker lane she goes. Nice drifting by Big Mike, but Angela seems to have a she has the momentum and the lead so far. Here we go. She is making her way onto the runaway first. Big Mike is going to have to catch up. Angela's got a nice lead. She's had good speed all day. Oh, wow, and onto the scrambler. She's spinning it around. Big Mike is not yet to be found. Angela's gonna move on. And here comes Big Mike to finish. Good sportsmanship. Race fans, the Aussie and the New Zealander gave it all they got. And we really appreciate them being here. But the two that are moving on will be Angela from Looked After Dark and Johnny Smack from Ruckus Racing. Thank you again, Big Mike and Macy. Let's not forget the two that are on our last chance list who will be moving on if they aren't outscored. Are you trucking too?